So in Minecraft 1.7, or at least the snapshots that we've gotten so far, there are some pretty awesome features. One of which is now being able to place maps in an item frame and just displaying the whole map. And it will stitch each item frame together. Now I've created a filter that will take an image and then create a series of map files and then put them in an image frame, or an item frame and then put them on a wall. Um, I'll show you how that works real quick. There's also some other features for Minecraft 1.7 that I wanted to show real quick. Um, most of them involve command blocks. Um, here's a chest for instance. I've written a filter that can chain, that can turn tile entities and blocks into a command block that will spawn those blocks. Um, anyways, I'm going to go over to MC Edit and show off um, those filters. So here we are in MC Edit. Um, there's the wall I was showing you. You can see all the item frames, which are entities. Um, I'll just run you through the filter real quick. We're going to create another picture over here. First, I'm going to run a selection that is too small. Before, uh, and I'll tell you why I'm doing this. It's actually pretty useful. So you go into the filters, and then you select my map it filter. Now a quick explanation on what all the different um, options are. The facing is important because this determines on which side the maps are placed on the wall. Um, this run right here basically if the selection size that you've selected is too small you can tell it to optionally just dump all the maps into a chest. This might be useful if you want to manually place the maps yourselves otherwise I would keep it on key cancel image processing. Now the item frame bl backing block right here, um, item frames have to be on um, actual blocks. They can't just be floating in midair. If they're in midair, they'll pop off. So this filter tries to make sure that there aren't any air blocks behind the item frames. Now technically there are other um, block types that will make the um, item frame pop off, like torches and other things. Um, I don't know what all of them are, and I'm kind of too lazy to go and find the list and compile it and then integrate it into this. Um, so right now it only really cares about air. Uh, this option down here will make the item frames invulnerable. And then down here is an image path. Now this is probably only going to be necessary for Mac and Linux users, because if you just click Filter on Windows, it should pull up a uh, file, uh, file dialog box. So you just want to migrate or navigate to the folder that you want that has the images and then change levels and schematics to start out start. It's kind of a nuisance that you have to do this, but that's how um, Minecraft, or I'm sorry, MC Edit, it hard codes this levels and schematics. So you have to set it to all and then just choose the image. Now I, uh, I created or I found a dinner bone image I wanted to use. So I'll go ahead and click open. Now you can see that error. I think the image I downloaded was actually um, incorrectly formatted, so I'm going to see if I can save it properly. Just a moment. Okay, let's try this again. So we click filter, then we change this to that, and then we have the dinnerbone.png file. So I'll click open, and then the console is very important in this filter. Um, I selected a one by one block just to show this. So in the console, um, you can see that the, the image that we tried using before is corrupted, so it's an unsupported image format. Anyways, um, the selection height is too small. Your selection should be at least three height in size. So you can see down here, the 1H needs to be three. So I'll go ahead and increase that to three. Um, and this is going to fail each time, but um, I'm doing it to show you uh, what the filter says. So go ahead and click filter again, and we will select the image once again. And now it says the selection size is too small for a western eastern facing map. Your selection should be at least 2W3L38. So make sure you just um, replicate that down here. So it needs to be two wide and three long. So two wide, three long. And actually, I think I'm going to swap the orientation. Um, 
And basically, when you're when you're determining westwards, eastwards, northwards, and southwards, the easiest way to do that is to hold Alt key and then look at the coordinates. And if you can see the Z is going downward, so we want one. Or actually, it's going upward because it's negative. So we want one where the Z is going towards positive. So if we go back into the filter, we can see that southwards is going towards positive Z. So we'll select that. And now we'll click filter. And we will choose image once more. And now you can see um, it shows the progress. So right, it takes a while for each image because each image is 128 by 128 pixels. So um, this it takes a little while, but it shows you the progress that it's doing. Um, and each of these map.dat files are saved in they're saved in your world file. So this is the test world, and they're in data. And you can see that these map.dat files keep getting created as the filter operates. Okay, that's done. So we can see that it's the item frames are on the proper side and everything's all correct. Now, determining the image, um, what the size will be um, inside of the game is pretty easy actually. You just need to find the image in question. This is it right here, dinnerbone.png. If we go into its properties and, and its details, you'll be able to see its width and its height. Basically, you divide these by 128, and that will get you your width and your height, um, or the number of item frames it will be. If you're patient enough, there isn't really any limitation to the width and height. Um, I guess maybe Pygame might crash um, if you select too large of a window for its buffer, or sorry, too large of an image for its buffer. But um, I don't know. I haven't tested it. I don't have the patience to sit through it. But obviously. 328 divided by uh, 3, 384 divided by 128 is 3, so this is 3 by 3, and 3 by 3 is 9. So when you saw the processing, you can see that there are nine images. Um, these one through three were the top row, four, four through six were the middle, and seven through nine were the bottom. So you have to keep in mind that when you're doing really large images, it's going to take quite a while. Um, but the upper limitation was probably, um, assuming that Pygame doesn't crash, it should be the maximum selection height, which is 255. So 255 times 128 is like 32,000 or something like that. Now a quick note about the um, item map format itself. Obviously it has a limited color palette. So if you go to this web page, which will be linked in the description, this is the wiki article describing the map format. And basically there's a set of base colors that it uses. Um, you can see the type of block it typically uses to for those colors. Um, I obviously don't do this because I'm directly converting an image. And then the actual palette itself. Now you'll notice that there's no black. Black will end up being transparent. And there are very few other colors. Uh, it could be that Mojang will eventually add more colors, but right now we're limited to this. Now I recommend if you don't want black ending up as transparent that you in your image um, your image editing software you change it to this dark brown right here. Um, and these are pretty simple to convert to HTML codes if you need that. Um, generally speaking, um, Photoshop is useful if you can afford it or if you don't mind stealing. Or if you have a conscience, you, um, I would recommend GIMP, which is an open source free imaging editing software. Uh, it's what I use personally. But you can see it's a very limited set of colors, so um, images kind of come out looking pretty 8-bit. Now finally I want to show um, some of the other filters that I made. Um, I've put these up on uh, Twitter, but I haven't really made a video, so I'll just go and create a video real quick demonstrating it. Um, one of them is my place blocks filter, so I'll go ahead and create a just a chunk of blocks. So my place blocks filter will has it's pretty simple. Um, it has block filtering like a lot of my other filters. It'll basically uh, not operate on 
these if you decide to like you only want to convert certain ones or you don't want to convert certain one certain blocks um, otherwise you can just leave the block filtering alone um, but the two primary operations are blocks and selection so it'll select whatever is in the selection it'll um, create a command block for each block in the selection um, obviously if you use block filtering it will ignore certain blocks and then there's the uh, place operation um, these are basically for the command itself it takes one of three different operations uh, replace will replace the block if it is isn't the same type of block keep will only replace it if it's not air I think I could be wrong and destroy will destroy the block drop an item and then spawn in the new block but generally I recommend you use replace so I'm going to place blocks in selection um, we can make it ignore air blocks so you don't have to worry about putting air blocks into the block filtering um, and it can also include in tile entity MPT data and this is useful for chess and the like and I'll show you that in here in a bit but first we'll do this one so I'll go and click filter and then we'll get the schematic creation window and this will be uh, place bedrock And then we'll do a delete operation, which will be to air. And go we'll filter. And now we just need to import those two. So this is the delete circuit. And this is the create circuit. And obviously it doesn't wire up the uh, blocks for you. You have to do that yourself. And lastly for this place blocks filter I will convert. I will do this chest. So filter. Place blocks. In. Whoops. I think I screwed up on that guy over there actually. Let's undo. Filter. We want to do place below blocks. So that will be the air block. Yes. And now we'll re-import them. Air. And bedrock. And now we'll do one for placing the chest. And now we'll import the chest one. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you these. I'll, I'll actually wire these up in game. Uh, you won't see that because I know it's boring. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll meet you back inside Minecraft. So now we're in game and. Uh, Images are loading. This takes a while. So, you can see there's our wonderful overlord, Dinnerbone, who added this wonderful functionality to Minecraft. Let's wait as his glorious picture slowly emerges. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, and actually, I haven't created the, uh, the redstone for this just yet, but I'll show you with the, with the block or the chest real quick. And you can see this guy's still loading in. It's kind of one downside of doing of maps is that they take forever to load in. There's glorious dinner bone. Okay, so I'm gonna do this replace one real quick because I don't have to do anything special to wire it up. Just need a button. And it fills it in with all the with all of the um, swords and everything. Now if I, you can see the command, if I change the uh, the method right here, um, that's what was being selected before, to destroy. I won't have to uh, change anything. 
and I won't have to destroy it because it will destroy it by itself. And it makes a mess. Swords everywhere. So I'm going to wire these guys up real quick just to show them. Um, this is finished loading in. So you can see the blacks they, uh, and the dark colors, they end up transparent. So you might want to edit your image so that doesn't happen if that bothers you. Um, the algorithm I use to convert the colors is pretty simple. It, it uh, does it based on nearest color instead of luminescence and other setting um, or other color properties. But anyways, I'm going to go wire these up real quick and then I'll, be, I'll cut back. Okay, here we are. They're all wired up and I've forgotten which one is which, so let's check it real quick. So this one wants to replace zero, which is air, so that's the destroy. Sing disappears. This one will replace the uh, bedrock. Sing, sing. It's pretty simple, um, and obviously it it will do more than just bedrock. It'll do whatever blocks in the selection, and you can filter it obviously. So that's pretty simple. Um, you can even change some of these to destroy if you want. And actually, I have a filter for that. So I'll show you that filter real quick. So here we are in MC Edit once more. And I'm going to select these blocks right here that do the uh, replace air operation or the delete operation. And the filter we want to look at is my edit command block filter. This is a pretty old filter, but I update it every now and then. I've added some increment options that I don't really want to explain because it's complicated. But um, for the operation, we just want to do a replace, replace string, and then we'll do a simple string replace. And we'll just replace that, um, what was it? Replace. We want to put replace, replace with destroy. And just click filter. And if we look at these and we hold Alt, you can see that in the uh, at the bottom, set block, blah, 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 and at the end is destroy. So it, it did that properly. If we look at the, other, the originals, you can see if at the top, or towards the top, you'll see it says replace. So it did that. It just changed out replace with uh, destroy. I just, I just want to do this real quick so you can see the destroy animation looks kind of interesting. Anyways, and we're back in Minecraft, so now we can see all the particles this creates. It's like it gets zapped or something by a, a wizard. Just zing. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, I might throw one or two other links um, for other command block related filters I've created, some that are specifically for converting a tile entity into a command block or will it'll take a spawner and then it will spawn the uh, entity inside the spawner with a command block. Uh, those are fairly self-explanatory so I'll put links in the description. Anyways I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day.